don't believe what your senses tell you. Because your senses only tell you what you think the world looks like. Your senses have only one function. They reinforce your interpretation of what you think the world is like, including your physical body. Now look at the next picture. And that's the physical body that an anatomist would see. An anatomist would see the physical body and say it's made up of flesh and bones because that's the conditioning of an anatomist. And now look at the next picture and that's the body that a great Ayurvedic physician or a great yogi would see because the conditioning of the yogi is that we are beings of light, that we come spinning out of the galaxies, we are the dust of stars and that our bodies are actually made out of the same stuff that everything else is made out of. That even though we see the body as physical, it's also energy and it's also information and ultimately it's also intelligence because how does that energy and information orchestrate into the beautiful symphony that we call our body? Our bodies are like symphonies. How does a body do so many things all at the same time? How does a human body think thoughts, play a piano, kill germs, remove toxins, and make a baby all at the same time. <laughs> and while it's doing that, your body tracks the movement of the stars and planets because your biological rhythms are actually the symphony of the spheres. So our physical body has many components to it. It's physical, made up of flesh and bones, but it's also subtle. We have another body called the subtle body, which is made up of energy, information, light, electromagnetic fields and then we have a third body of consciousness and that body of consciousness which is really the spiritual body is orchestrating like a symphony everything that you're doing 